There's a large body of evidence that shows that when people have high cholesterol during their midlife and have continued exposure to dyslipidemia over their life course, they tend to have higher risk of dementia. It seems that oxidized LDL in the blood could influence the conversion of soluble amyloid protein into insoluble amyloid plaques that ultimately damage neuronal systems. All these new medications that you hear about are focused on getting rid of these hardened plaques and LDL cholesterol has a role in their production. Some studies have shown that when people have high LDL cholesterol during their lifetime, they have more Alzheimer's disease neuropathologies like plaques and neurofibrillary tangles, independent of the effect of APOE, which is a gene involved in lipid metabolism. High LDL cholesterol can also lead to atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries that lead to the brain, and this affects the transfer of oxygen and nutrients to brain cells, leading to small silent strokes, damage to the blood vessels, and eventually cognitive impairment. So current research suggests that when you lower your LDL cholesterol, especially during midlife, this could reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease and vascular dementia.